This is amazing. All the flavors coming together. This is like legit, probably one of the best backstrap meal meal recipes I've ever done, babe. This is so good. You guys need to make this. Hey guys, Brian here from Me Factor Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Um, man, it's an awesome time of year. Everything's greening up. Um, if you see, I've got the boat out here behind me, getting it ready for catching some catfish coming up soon. We've got birds chirping. Today's video is gonna be about how to identify uh, a mushroom that's fairly new to me. It's called the Dryad Saddle or Pheasant's Back Mushroom. I really like the mushroom. There's some things, um, maybe some reasons why some people don't enjoy those um, or haven't had a good experience with them. We'll get into that as well. The recipe is going to be with venison backstraps. So this is also another way to enjoy those backstraps, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. These are called uh, pheasant's back or dryad saddle. And these are growing on a dead tree stump here. They seem super moist, like they just grew recently. We're gonna cut some off and uh, and fry them up. So it's got like a you know, spongy, porous texture to the bottom. They smell like watermelon or cucumber, and they absolutely do. That's pretty crazy. So also, the, um, this mushroom has a ton of like medicinal purposes. Um, but basically they're really good for you to eat. There's a lot of protein in this mushroom, 13%. Um, and obviously there's a lot of uh, water in this mushroom. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited and I'm hoping that I'm gonna like it. So I have a buddy that says he doesn't, but perhaps he was trying to eat the tough part. All right, so what we're gonna do is, because this is a larger mushroom, um, a lot of the middle of it's gonna be too hard. Um, so we're gonna cut off about maybe no more than an inch all the way around. Like that was super easy to cut and I can feel it get hard right there to cut so I'm not gonna cut any further than that. Keep going here until it gets hard to cut again basically. We're gonna cook the mushrooms and onions, do like a caramelized onion and mushrooms in a pan. We're going to grill the back straps and when the back straps are almost done, we're gonna cut them up and throw them in the pan to finish them off with the uh, onions and mushrooms. It's gonna be good. We may even put some um, dandelion greens to top off the meal. We're gonna throw these back straps on there, get that good charcoal flavor, um, get the outside um, cooked real nice. Uh, before they're done, we're gonna pull them off and throw them in the pan with the uh, onions and mushrooms. This is broccoli, and we got asparagus in there. It's like basically crisped and almost burned on the outside, but it's gonna still be almost pink in the middle. Put some olive oil in the frying pan, put it on medium to low heat. Um, Put some butter and add in your onions. So the onions are caramelizing. You can see the edges of them starting to turn brown. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw the mushrooms in now. I think we'll put a little more butter in here with these guys. I'm gonna put a little seasoning. This stuff has garlic in it. Put a little, little more olive oil in there. Um, these pheasant back mushrooms have a tendency to get chewy if you cook them with high heat. It's recommended to cook them on uh, kind of low heat. All right, keep stirring and cook until the mushrooms are done or brown. And remember, don't overcook those mushrooms. Check this out. Almost red in the middle. Slice up into three quarter inch medallions.
Now you need to stir until the steak is done. So that kind of depends on how long you cook the steak. Um, add some pepper, some salt, and continue to stir. Um, next we're going to add some honey to the mix actually. This is amazing, actually. All the flavors coming together. Wow. This is like legit, probably one of the best backstrap meal meal recipes I've ever done, babe. This is so good. You guys need to make this. My wife also has some cheesy potatoes slash hash browns, whatever you want to call them, um, cooking in the oven. There's um, basically the frozen hash browns, which is potatoes uh, mixed with some cheese and some onions, and I don't I don't remember what all she puts in it, but basically a little little hash brown cheesy casserole thing. So that's gonna be delicious. So this meal is deer killed from my, my land, mushrooms found on my land, dandelion greens picked on my land.